Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today, I know y'all, I've been so down on my post. I have a lot of really personal stuff going on. I'm not going to get into that. Um, if y'all wanted to know later, I guess I could tell y'all about it, but right now it's just too fresh. Um, I just had a lot of personal stuff going on this last week and I've been so stressed out. I've been broken out in hives and I just didn't think y'all wanted to see that. So what I did do to calm myself down a little bit while I had my hives covered up, I went to TJ Maxx because what makes you feel better than spending a little bit of your money? <laughs> so what we're going to do today is I'm going to combine two different TJ Maxx hauls that I've done once for a while back and I forgot to ever film it and then I'll show y'all what I got this last week. So we're just going to hop straight in. If there's any of these products that you were curious about seeing a you know, all day wear test, tutorial, whatever, let me know. Some of the products I have on my face right now. <laughs> so we're just going to jump in. So the first thing I actually got, I got three of these Bella Pierre Kiss Proof Slay Transfer Proof Lip Collection. It looks like this on the outside. And I got them for $5.99 each. They retail for eight. So not a whole lot off, but still a little bit. I got that color, kind of orangey color, and a kind of red orange. And when you open them up, uh, it comes with the lip liner, the Kiss Proof Cream, and a gloss to go over. So I got three of those. They've been sitting here forever. I hadn't even opened them because I wanted to film an unboxing, and I just kept forgetting. So. We've got those, which I'll probably do a wear test of in a couple of weeks. I do have an all-day wear test coming up Tuesday that I really hope y'all enjoy. Then, more Bella Pierre. I got the Bella Pierre Matte Lip Palette. And I got this for... I don't have the price. Okay, I got it for $5.99 and it retails at $10. So it's like 40% off. This is what the inside looks like. Now, if you get a lot of smaller subscription boxes, you're going to know that um, this came in several of the new kind of up-and-coming boxes because it, I think it has been like discontinued or reformulated. So it was pretty cheap to get, but I just picked mine up at TJ Maxx instead of getting one of the subscription boxes, and that worked for me. So the last thing I got in this particular haul was a cute little marble notebook. If y'all didn't know, I adore marble. It's my favorite. It's like a little notepad, and I'm actually going to start keeping note of my videos in here and my ideas, because God knows I get ideas at the most random times that make absolutely no sense, but it happens. So, then we have the bigger haul we did the other day. Um, first of all, if y'all have noticed when my hair is down, uh, I have hella long hair so I grabbed some turby twist hair towel thingies for five dollars each this one has two this one has one we're gonna try to take better care of my hair cuz I'm not very good at that so we got that <clears throat> then I got some essentials every girl needs to have sorry about it I got a off-brand like brush cleaning mat for five dollars I know the good ones come from Sigma this one comes from Beauty Concepts. Looks just as good. Suction cups down in the middle of your sink. Clean your brushes because I have not been and my face has been breaking out. So that is something I have got to start doing. Then I got this, which I'm probably not going to use to clean my brushes, which sounds really dumb. This comes from Polished Beauty Supply. And I got it for, I don't know, $5 too. Okay, so this is supposed to be a brush cleaner, right? It's got the suction cups on the back, and it's got a pocket here. So what I saw someone in one of my beauty groups say is that if you're going live or whatever, and you need your phone held up, but you don't want to hold your phone, and it's hard to get a tripod that will let you do it in portrait mode for when you go regular live, you can suction this to a mirror or whatever and stick your phone in here freaking genius or if you just want to take cute pictures and you can't figure out how to hold your phone and take them at the same time set a burst timer stick that thing in here and start posing so that's what this is for I'm excited even if it's a little dumb I don't care okay so then we got and this is something I'm so excited about okay I don't know who all has heard of sleek makeup 
but it's like a UK brand. They sell it at Ulta, but I've never like made myself buy it. It's like drugstore pricing, right? It's pretty cheap anyways. This is regular $8. I got it for $5.99, so not a huge discount. But it came with this little baby palette right here called Beautiful Sin. We've got a little baby mascara and a baby lip thing. And I'm really thinking what I want to do is use this little baby kit and do like my lips and my eyes with it one day and see how it wears. Because I have been so curious about sleek makeup, I just haven't done it yet. Like I've always wanted to, I just haven't really ordered it. And I saw it at TJ Maxx and I was like, $5.99, throw that in there because I've been dying to try it. So, I'm sorry I'm getting out of frame y'all, but I'm out of room on my messy filming table because I just filmed another video for y'all. <laughs> but while we are in here, uh, I found more sleek makeup. I got this for $5.99 as well. Retails at eight also. And this has only got two things in it. I did play with it today just a little bit. I used the mascara before I put on my falsies. I wasn't super impressed, but you know, it worked pretty good on my lower lashes. Did what it was supposed to. All good with me. And it comes with this palette, which is called Beautiful Sin as well. So I think I just got like the big version and the mini, maybe, but that's okay. And look at these colors. You guys, I haven't even, I haven't touched it yet, but it looks so pretty. Like it just looks very promising. So I feel like what I got is like one to keep in here. And if I end up really liking it, I can take my mini with me for touch ups or travel or whatever, if I'm just going somewhere for the day. But I did use that mascara and it wasn't too bad. I mean, it's not the best I've ever used, but it's not horrible. And then we have our last thing that I got. I know I usually get bigger hauls than this, but your girl be broke. So what I have on my eyes today is actually this last product I got. <clears throat> I got the Emerald City palette from Cargo Cosmetics. Now, about this one. I've seen Tati talk about how much she used to love Cargo. So I figured I might as well try it because if Tati used to like it, it's got to be good. So I got this and then I saw a video where she said they're super hit or miss. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. The brush is trash. We're not even worried about that. But this is what it looks like on the inside. You get a little mirror and you get one, two, three, four, six colors. I mean 12, sorry, two rows of six colors. And it's not a bad palette. Like the shimmers, like if you can see my inner corner here and like my lid, these shimmers are absolutely gorgeous. It's just, there is such a limited number of mattes and there's only one that's even really much darker than my skin. And I'm so fair. I don't know how this would work for anybody. I mean, I made it work because I'm fair enough that I could build up this kind of tan matte and then layer this dark brown in the corner to make it look okay and I just put a little green on the lid, a pop in the inner corner and on the brow bone which I can finally do now. But um, I mean I made it work but I just really thought it would be better than that. Which I guess I paid, it retails at $15, I paid $9.99, that's about 30% off. $10 for a palette that, I mean, it worked. It's just not as impressive as I wanted. And it's really just the mattes. Like the shimmers are super pretty. And I think that anytime I want a green look, I probably will reach for this quite often. And y'all know I got hazel eyes. So I really like green looks sometimes to make my eyes pop. <laughs> so I'm sure I'll reach for it some, but yeah, I was a little sad because I wanted it to be so much better, but that's okay. Still a pretty solid palette. I'm going to have to look in and see which ones are supposed to be more hits than misses and maybe try a little more cargo because it is super affordable even if you don't find it at TJ Maxx. Like I kind of want their, um, not their Paradise palette, but y'all know what I mean? Like their vacation palette thing. It looks really pretty. I want to try that one and I will eventually. But yes, that is what I got in my most recent TJ Maxx hauls. I thought y'all might like to see that. I know last time y'all kind of liked that video. And they have a lot of really cute stuff. And I wanted to try out this palette for y'all. I know I didn't do it on camera. Because I have to get out of town really quick. So I'm filming, catching up, about to edit and upload this in the next like 20 minutes. So <laughs> this is me this morning, if y'all are curious. And I am all over the place, but I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go do something fun today. 
So yeah, that is it for this video. Um, <clears throat> I will definitely get y'all a video on that sleek cosmetics makeup because I'm so curious about that and I really want to show it to y'all and I will probably get an all day wear test on that Bella Pierre. Maybe just to kind of compare it to like lip sense because it seems to have the same steps. So see how that works out for like a fraction of the price. And yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye you guys.